And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Banished. Let's just add... Yeah, one fisherman is good for that. I don't want a whole lot. We still have some material on the ground here that we can scavenge, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, we, we're going to want to get rid of some more trees and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> we started getting firewood finally. <clears throat> And uh, so this house here will, this is actually the woodcutter, ironically. And we're probably getting pretty low on food. So really need this to, to really boost up. So we've got a fisherman there, or a fisherwoman, I should say. 13 years old. Going to be catching fish for us. All right. So a lot of this game is sort of just waiting around and, you know, we've got laborers going and, you know, I could, uh, I could do a bunch of stuff in between episodes and, and wait around and let materials build up. But, you know, and then I kind of, breaks the sense of the game where you don't really have you don't really know that you know it takes time to build up to build up things so we don't have we might need some we might need to start uh, thinking about a hunting lodge because this will not only give us meat, but it will also give us leather. And we're going to want leather for coats. And you can typically put a hunting lodge next to a, uh, let's see, a forestry, forester's lodge. Let's see. Hunting Lodge. These have a pretty big radius. But you don't want to put them too far away because... You know, they have to walk. They have to walk to where they're going, so... Let's see. Let's kind of put this in a ways. This might be a street coming up here. So let's, uh, let's plan for that. I want to put the hunting cabin here, and yes, the reserve of food is low, I'm aware. Uh, no, I want a, where would it be, harvest trees, remove resources, forester's lodge, there it is. Okay, where is my... There it is. So the Forester's Lodge will get me trees. They'll plant trees and they'll they'll cut down trees that are old and ready to fall anyway. So the few laborers I have, oh, we've got a new we have a new child born. Look at that. And we got a new laborer. And they probably moved into one of the houses. There's the laborer yet, yeah, 10 years old, they become laborers. So I wish, so where's the new kid? There's a new kid. Gus, oh, there's two kids. We have two kids that were born. Rodolphus and Dendro. There they are. Awesome. Ooh, we're getting some good getting some good growth on this. We are in summer, so we still have plenty of time to go. And let's 
We got yeah, low on potatoes. We're doing pretty good on firewood. We're gonna want a lot of that. Make sure we're not gonna run out. Well, they're starting to clear this area over here. And let's see the we're gonna want a I have the mod for specialized stockpiles. So I can specify a stockpile of a certain type. So this specialized stockpile. So I can actually do a specialty, specialty stockpile for just logs. And all the basic resources have specialty stockpiles. So coal, iron, stone, firewood, and wood. Not new medieval towns, so these are the bigger towns, and we have two-story residences that we can build. We have three-story residences that we can build. Medieval first-floor residence. So you can start with this, and then you can build. You can build on top of that, and you can build on top of that. So you can get really nice big houses. Medieval Hunter's Lodge, I should have built one of those. Medieval Tailors. These are buildings that you can place on top of other buildings. So you can have a tailor and then you can have a house over the tailor shop, which is awesome. So we have butcher shops. So this, I haven't played with this medieval mod yet. So cathedral, this is that huge cathedral that takes just a massive amount of resources. That's kind of a, a wonder or an end game thing. A library, an apothecary, which is sort of an in city uh, herbalist. A clinic, a barber shop, which I'm not sure what to think about that. Oh, it actually provides health. Awesome. Dentist. Oh, a medieval dentist. I don't even want to. I don't even want to think of the screams that would come out of this shop. Uh, a bathhouse. That's interesting. And a medieval school. So these are pretty standard buildings that just have the medieval look to them. And once we start growing our city uh, and doing that kind of stuff, we will look into that. So these are specialty stores that will stock certain things. So, you know, a stone, iron, uh, then there's a food, and then there's a cloth, and a meat store, and a general store. So you have the vanilla game, which is a market, uh, and the stores, well, are, you know, a very specific item. So we've got a little bit of fish probably coming in. There's, there's some fish right there. We've got seven fish. Awesome. How's my yield doing? 36% yield. When building stockpiles, anything that they cut down will automatically get stocked in the stockpile, which is nice. All right. So I we might have the ability to build an orchard. Not sure if we actually have any seeds seeds for that. So there is my hunting lodge. And this is my forester's lodge. Now I could put a gathering hut in there and they'll go around gather. There's little, you know, there's wild onions and other materials that you can gather from, from old forests. They pretty much only grow in old, like old growth forests. 
uh, as the hunting or as the forester lodge works and starts to clear out areas, uh, you'll get less and less of that forgeable stuff. All right. So I think what I want to do is speed up time a little bit. And you are a child. Child. So we've just about, oh, we have a new child born. Awesome. New child born here. All right, we are growing our little village here. Don't need any more houses as yet. We might need some more if, because we have interesting, looks like we have a lot of guys, a lot of males, not a whole lot of females. Getting, getting, uh, getting up to that pairing off age. So there we go. We are out of food in this. Getting low on. Getting pretty low on, like coats. How is my crop doing? Oh yeah, my crop is doing really well. It's early autumn, they're going to start harvesting. See how much see how much we get from this. Probably won't be too much. It, the yield wasn't wasn't maxed out, so we're not going to we're not going to get a whole lot. But hopefully it'll last us through the winter with the fish kind of trickling in as well. And firewood, we've built up quite a lot of firewood. Let's see what our fuel limit is. We have a 200 fuel limit, and we have 124. So this can dictate, you know, if I'm maxed on something, like I have 124 logs, and I have a limit of 200. So this Forester Lodge, will only cut down wood to to that limit. So I'm gonna want one of my laborers to work in the hunting lodge. Because we're gonna need some leather. All right. So production we only got 441 wheat out of that this year. And we're going to want, now that the season is up, we're going to want another crop field. And this is also going to be wheat. And we're going to set two labor or two of our laborers to be the farmers for that. They won't plant until spring. So that will lay dormant for a while. This little icon means the limit has been reached for firewood. See, we have 229 firewood and we have a limit of 200. So our wheat is already pretty much gone. You can see all of these have wheat and fish now. Some of them still have potatoes left over. Kind of want to set a person for that. We don't want to run out of firewood. That's the one thing we really don't want to run out of. Everybody would basically freeze to death and it would be game over essentially. Now we have a lot of iron sitting around. We got this lighter stuff is stone and this darker stuff is iron. We have some deer running around, which is why we have a hunting lodge. 
So they will they will start hitting that up. I might want to put a gatherer's hut down in this area too. Although that might how big is the gatherer's hut? Gatherer's hut is pretty big. Is there a medieval version of that? Medieval tower, pond. Don't think there is a like a medieval gatherer's hut. So let's build a gatherer's hut. And give our people something to do over the winter. We have two more laborers. Oh, we have three more laborers now. We have now these two paired up. It looks like we have a couple that paired up here. So that's good. This one person here looks like. So yeah, we've got two, two males now that are not paired up. Might be a little while before these two have a kid. I could put a road in here and it would speed up travel quite a bit. Um, and how much stone do we have? We got 43 stone. We got lots that I can gather. Got a whole bunch over here. So yeah, let's build a stone path. all the way into town. And here comes the snow. And our, our coats are running low. It's not a good thing. Let's uh, collect stone here. Amazing that we still have plenty of firewood. So there's our our trusty builder building our path. They they walk way faster on a path than they do on regular ground. So they just start cruising. I think I have a mod that it, it boosted a little bit more. The the vanilla boost was so minuscule it really didn't it didn't have that big of an impact. Why are you walking? fish back here oh you're just gathering more i see so we have venison in here now that's from our hunting lodge so that is deer meat and i was hoping for some leather because we need to make some more coats we also need to make some tools. And is there, I'm not seeing a mountain anywhere, anywhere near here. There's one there. Cause we need one in order to have a prayer on Mine or mining like stone and stuff. So there's one this huge area over here. This will all this I want to have I'm gonna have uh, Mines going all the way around this getting getting me iron and coal But that'll have to wait for a future episode far future anyway Come back next time for the new planting season. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time